In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about the relationship of the angles created by a transversal that intersects two parallel lines. Here, the parallel lines are A and B, or in this case, they're segments, and the transversal is uh, segment T here. All right, we're going to begin by talking about the corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are congruent or equal. So here, angle 1 corresponds with 5, 2 corresponds with 6, 3 corresponds with 7, and 4 corresponds with 8. Each one of those are congruent. 1 and 5, it, 1 is congruent to 5, 2 is congruent to 6, etc. Vertical angles are angles that are opposite each other, and those angles are also congruent. Here we have 1 and 4, 2 and 3, 5 and 8, and 6 and 7. Next we have alternate interior angles. Those angles are also congruent. We have 3 and 6, and 4 and 5. Moving on to linear pair. The linear pair are two adjacent angles that share a ray, and they create a straight line. And we know straight lines are supplementary, which means uh, they have a measure of 180 degrees. So here we have angles 1 and 2, 3 and 4, 1 and 3, 2 and 4. At the bottom, we have 5 and 6, 7 and 8, 5 and 7, and 6 and 8. Next, we have alternate exterior angles. Those would be angles 1 and 8, and angles um, 2 and 7. And alternate exterior angles are also congruent. Next, we have same side interior and consecutive interior. Just two ways of saying the same thing. Those angles have a total of 180 degrees. Let me write that a little bit better. When you add those together, they have a sum of 180 degrees. And same side interior would be 4 and 6, and also 3 and 5. Now let's move on to same side exterior. Another way of saying that is consecutive exterior, and those are supplementary, meaning they add up to 180 degrees. And same side exterior would be 2 and 8, and 1 and 7. All right, that sums up this tutorial on parallel lines that, have a, that are intersected by transversal and the relationship uh, between the angles created. Thanks again for watching, and have a great day.